while it's hot. Well, well, well. Look at what the cat dragged in. <laughs> How are you, Leo? Doing well. Hey, I'll be right back. Come on around. Did you get that card I sent you? The card? Oh, yes, yes, I did. Thank you so much. Oh, no, no, no. Thank you. Your last donation was very generous. It's because of folks like you we can keep this shelter going. How am I to do that? So what brings you by here today? Arnie McDougall. Name ring a bell? Oh, yeah, I know Arnie. He's done some work for me over the years. Good electrician. Has he been around recently? Not since last year when I gave him a bed for a few nights. It's bad. Does he sleep on the streets? No. I gave it to him as a favor. Told me he and the missus got into a fight and begged me to let him stay here. Said he had nowhere else to go. But he gave one of my staffers quite the scare. And after that, I told him he couldn't come by here no more. Sounds serious. Oh, yeah. Say, what's this all about anyway? It's a long story, Leo. It's got to do with a friend of mine who's trying to help his wife, and now he's stalking her. Stalking your friend that's helping his wife? Mm-hmm. Yep. Maggie McDougal. Sweet lady. I felt bad for her. You know, when we took him in, he called her down here to come have a meal with him. Well, the next thing you know, Gretchen works in the kitchen. Uh-huh. Walks in on him, choking her out. She tried to break it up, and he damn near knocked her out, too. So you called the cops? Of course I called the police. But Arnie was intense, raging mad. Cops arrested him right then and there for domestic and assault on Greta. He got locked up for a while, I think. But anyway, after that, I told him he was banned from coming here ever again, work or otherwise. Do you have an address for him, by any chance? No, nah, I don't keep that kind of info. Any friends he might have? He always struck me as kind of a loner. Hmm, I see. Listen. If he comes around by any chance, you drop me a line, OK? Will do. Hey, listen, I normally don't like to talk ill to anybody, but Arnie is dangerous. He's got a temper that won't quit, and he's capable of hurting somebody. You need to tell that friend of yours to still clear him. She's trying. <laughs> well, look at what the cat dragged in. Hey, Leo, how are you? Doing well, doing well. Hey, I'll be right back. Did you get the card I sent you? I did, thanks. Ah, no, 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 thank you. Your last donation was very generous. It's because of folks like you who were able to keep the shelter going. I'm happy to help. So what brings you by here today? Arnie McDougal. Name ring a bell. Oh yeah, I know Arnie. Did some work for me a few years back. He's a good electrician. Has he been around at all recently? No, not since last year when I gave him a bed for a few nights. A bed? He lives on the streets. No. Gave him a bed as a favor. Said he and the missus had, had a fight and begged me to stay here because he didn't have anywhere else to go. But he gave one of my staffers quite a scare. And so I told him he couldn't come by here anymore. That sounds serious. Oh, yeah, it was serious. Hey, so what's this all about anyway? Yeah, long story. But it has to do with a friend of mine who's been helping his wife, and now he's stalking her. Stalking the friend who's helping his wife? Maggie McDougal. Sweet lady. I feel bad for her. When I took him in that time, he called her down to come and have a meal with him. But the next thing you know, Greta, who works in the kitchen, she walks in on him choking her out. Gerda tried to break it up, but he bloody hell knocked her out too. You called the cops? Did I call the cops? Of course I did. But Arnie was intense, raging mad. Cops arrested him right then and there for domestic and assault on Gerda. He got locked up for a while, I think. But after that, I told him, he's banned from coming here. I don't care whether it work or otherwise. Any chance you might have an address on him? No, nah, I don't keep that kind of info. Any idea of friends he might have? Always seemed like a loner to me. Thanks, Leo. And if he comes here, by chance, drop me a line. Will do. Listen, I don't like to speak ill of anyone, but Arnie's got a bad temper that won't quit. He's capable of really hurting somebody if he wants to. Tell that friend of yours she needs to steer clear from him. Yeah, she's trying.